Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Elliot, and right now it is Tuesday, November 3rd. Uh, the reason why I'm saying that is because uh, whenever, depending on when you watch this, uh, hopefully I'll be posting this tomorrow. Um, I'm, I have a couple of important dates that I think you guys should know. Uh, so today's when, uh, Tuesday, um, and uh, I'm going to be going to In Cahoots today, but I guess that probably doesn't matter anymore because you should be watching this by tomorrow. Um, I'm also going to be going to the ranch on Thursday for my friend Sarah's birthday. Uh, Sarah has been just an amazing friend to me, and she's one of the main reasons why I go to the ranch. Uh, amazing person, super sweet, super nice. Um, she's introduced me to a lot of people, her husband, her mom, um, and a bunch of her different friends. And she's just, she always wants to two-step with me, and she's just... She's always up on my life, and it's it just means the world to me because there's so many people that I meet at country bars, and you know, like I never see them outside of country bars, and she always keeps up with me and is concerned for my well-being and whatnot. All of those good, amazing friend qualities. Next week, next Wednesday, uh, so, uh, the ranch just started. Uh, they took away their couple's classic country Wednesday, and uh, they're trying this new thing where they audition bands. And next Wednesday, uh, they're gonna have what I call the greatest band that I've ever seen. Um, the greatest, like, uh, you know, like country club circuit band that I've ever seen. They're called Southern Caliber. Um, I first heard about them from Cowboy Country because Cowboy Country has bands all the time. And I've never been a big band person at all, uh, but Southern Caliber is absolutely amazing. They have, like, the best line dance sets than than any other than any other band um that plays um because they're always they're up on you know current line dances and they stay current with things and uh they don't just play electric slide and power jam and whatnot uh like a bunch of these other bands do and they're very they're, they sound uh they have like this hip kind of sound uh which i like as opposed to this like honky tonk sound that you know a lot of other bands have um there's only three bands that I really, really love, um, Southern Caliber being the top one. Uh, Eli Young, um, or I'm sorry, Eli V. I wonder if that's why he came up with that. Uh, Eli V um, is uh, number two on my list, and Shotgun Wedding would probably be number three. Uh, but Southern Caliber is going to be at the ranch on Wednesday, and it's probably going to get a lot of people there. Uh, so if you guys want to check out like the best band that I've ever seen, uh, definitely be there on Wednesday. And then Thursday of next week, uh, Crystal Lynn uh, comes in from Borderline uh, is going to be at the ranch, or should be at the ranch. Uh, they're teaching her dance, Crooked Halo. Five, six, seven, eight, and one. She was a And uh, we were making this plan that she was going to be there, and so theoretically, maybe she she will. Um, and so if she is, then that would be super cool because Borderline is super far, and uh, she's just another amazing person, amazing dancer, amazing choreographer um, that I've met in my travels of line dancing. So the reason why I even started doing this video blog in the first place uh, is was to promote all of those days, um, but it was also to promote my class. Um, I haven't really talked about this very much, um, but I actually have a class in Diamond Bar. I know it's super far. It's called Happy. It's at the studio called Happy Dance Fitness. And just really quickly, I wanted to talk about it. Um, I met this lady. Her name is Jeannie, and uh, she. I met her at Montana's, and uh, she wanted me to check out her studio because she said that she teached she taught at a studio and so i thought it was just this random like lady and i never i never ended up going uh she met me a, a couple months later at the ranch and long story short because i i guess i could go into this but i don't really want to it's not really the purpose of this video um long story short a bunch of yeses came out of my mouth and um i eventually just got the job i've had the job for about a year now uh, it's gone through a lot of changes. Uh, when I started the 
the class, I basically had a bunch of students who didn't know literally anything. Um, I'm talking about like Men in Black was way too fast for them. Uh, they didn't know Outlaw, they didn't know God Bless Texas, they didn't know like basic dances that I felt like people should know or already know if they were taking a line dance class. And so I literally brought all of those students up from literally knowing nothing to knowing super advanced dances like Turn Me Loose and Four on the Floor and whatnot. Uh, something, you know, life happens. I, I mean, like, I'm a product of it. That's why I'm even on a second channel right now. Um, but all of those students basically cycled out. And thanks to my amazing friend Janet, uh, she obtained, like, a big following of ranch people um, that go to the ranch in, in, like, the earlier part, like the 6 to 9 o'clock part. And they all started coming to my class because it's amazing. And because I teach things that you wouldn't necessarily learn at clubs. Um, and if you do learn them at clubs, you learn them once for a lesson and then that's it. And then you just kind of have to figure it out by yourself later on. Um, and I'll like teach random things, like just dances that I know that I really like, like uh, this dance called Want to Want Me. Um, that's not even at a club. Um, Haley uh, premiered Dance With Me at my studio first. Uh, she, she just wanted to show the dance to me, and so I videoed her, and I posted it online, and all of a sudden, just freaking everybody loved it, and now it's a dance just everywhere. Um, it just uh, Double D wasn't even a dance that we, that we were doing here, but I really liked it because I liked a lot of Trevor Thornton's dances. Uh, Going Ham is his, uh, Double D is his, No Vacancy is his. Um, and uh, I just, uh, She's So Hot is his as well, and I just liked it, so I started teaching it at my class, just as like an easy teach through, and then all of a sudden a lot of people liked it, because I posted it on my Facebook, and then all of a sudden now it's a dance um, that's at clubs. And so, within the year that I've had this class, it's been absolutely amazing, and if you guys ever want to go, uh, I would highly suggest it, obviously. Um, full disclosure, it's difficult. It's a, um, it's, it's definitely not a beginner class at all. Um, I'm like, if you're expecting to learn things like, like, like the aforementioned dances, like Men in Black, God Bless Texas, um, my class has evolved so far from that, um, because you'll start to realize as you go to clubs more and more that all of those dances will always be the same. And so once you learn about 40 dances, uh, between the hours of nine and you know close um, all of those dances are basically always the same and they'll always be the same um, and it's because there needs to be a familiarity um, when you go to a club and I get that um, but see once you learn those dances you can't just keep doing those dances over and over and have and be able to sustain a class um, my students have been with me for so long that we've actually moved past that and we do a lot of like random dances uh, dances that are there between six and nine uh, things like homegrown no vacancy double D um, what's it called uh, Jessica's perfectly confused dance uh, crooked halo which is just coming out uh, kick and dust which is Carrie's um, Carrie kick from the ranch um, we do a uh, country style which is also hers that's kind of random um, shebangs is kind of random and we do a lot of those dances because those are the dances that um, that will always come out there will always be different dances that come out and we always ended up doing those as like new teaches and new lessons um, there's a uh, dance by Lee um, called beautiful drug by Lee Aaron King uh, the creator of crash and burn that we do uh, which is an amazing dance um, but like we do a lot of like random things. Every so often I'll throw in like a normal club basic dance, um, after party, like country girl shake, uh, crank, uh, going ham. Um, and I'll, I'll throw those in there. And in, in theory, I could probably teach chill factor. And even though that's like a basic dance, uh, a lot of my students probably won't even re have remembered that. So, you know, if you, if you went to my class and you wanted to learn basic dances like that, like slapping leather, I suppose too, um, like hard dances like that, Chill Factor, um, Four on the Floor, Turn Me Loose. Um, my class always loves getting reviews on things, and so we could totally teach those. Um, but if you, if you want any more information, it's uh, Happy Dance Fitness. It's uh, on Sundays from 6 to 9. 
Uh, it's seven dollars. It's three hours of dancing, and we literally just do dancing like pretty much the whole time. Um, I I never have like a real lesson plan because I always have different students, and uh, based on what people want and what people need, that's my lesson plan. I just kind of want to help whoever is there and um, as best as I can. Uh, like I tell my students all the time, my class is not for me to learn things. I already know all of these things. Um, in my class is for you and for you to learn something. And anytime I ever have a new person, um, I always try to help them as much as I can because um, I know, I understand that my class is difficult um, and that it's a little bit more advanced than most people would think that it would be. Um, I think a lot of people who go to a line dance class um, they're like super hyper beginners um, and my class is more geared toward people who already kind of have a handle on dances but that's not to say that I won't be like really really nice to people who I understand are beginners um, yeah but anyway uh, if you want any more information um, and just because I feel like saying all of this um, Facebook me uh, Subscribe to my channel, like this video, um, do all of that stuff. I'll put a, um, I'll have to make a, um, uh, a list of just all of my information. I'll post it at the end of this video um, of how, how you can contact me. Um, but I'm on my Facebook all the time, so if you just Facebook me a message or add me as a friend or whatnot, um, I, I'm on there like 24-7. Uh, so anyway, that's it. Um, just remember all of those dates. Um, and uh, I will see you next time.